NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory quietly updated Voyager 1's mission parameters, a single line in a technical document that most people overlooked. But for those of us who remember September 5th, 1977, launch day at Cape Canaveral, this line changes everything. In November 2026, Voyager 1 will reach one light day from Earth. Welcome back. Let me put that in perspective. Right now, as you're watching this, Voyager 1 is 15.8 billion miles away. When Mission Control at JPL sends a command, Good morning, Voyager, the signal travels at the speed of light through the vacuum of space for 23 hours before reaching the spacecraft. One light day means something different. It means the conversation takes two days. Monday morning, you say hello. Wednesday morning, you get the answer. Think about that for a moment. We built something in the 1970s that's still talking to us across distances our minds can barely comprehend. But here's what makes this moment bittersweet. Voyager project manager Susie Dodd said something in December that every engineer dreads hearing. We're pulling out all the stops to make sure Voyager reaches its 50th anniversary in Every year, Voyager loses four watts. That doesn't sound like much until you realize the entire spacecraft runs on less power than your refrigerator light bulb. In March, NASA turned off the cosmic ray subsystem. Instruments that discovered when Voyager left our solar system in 2012 shut down to save energy. The plasma wave subsystem, the magnetometer, they're still running, but each one is living on borrowed time. You remember the Apollo missions. You remember when we thought big, when we built things to last. Voyager is that philosophy made real. Here's something NASA doesn't advertise loudly. The signal Voyager sends back, 160 bits per second. That's dial-up internet speed from 1995, slower actually. And yet every day, that faint whisper crosses 15.8 billion miles. It reaches the deep space network antennas in California, Spain, and Australia. And every day, Voyager tells us what no human-made object has ever seen before. Interstellar space, the region beyond our sun's influence, the true ocean between the stars. Voyager 2 won't reach one light day until November 2035. NASA's own projections say it probably won't be operating by then, but Voyager 1? Voyager 1 might just make it. There's a detail in Susie Dodd's interview that struck me. She said, that kind of intergenerational effort on Voyager is really rewarding to see. Intergenerational. The engineers who designed Voyager are retired now. Some have passed away. The team running it today wasn't born when it launched, and still the mission continues. Between May 2025 and February 2026, the only antenna on Earth capable of sending commands to Voyager, Deep Space Station 43 in Canberra, will be offline for upgrades. Limited windows in August and December, that's it. The team raced to fix backup thrusters before this deadline. They succeeded. In a spacecraft built when your kids were in elementary school, using 1970s technology, they fired thrusters that hadn't been used in 40 years. And they worked! So what happens after one light day? Voyager keeps going, 38,000 miles per hour. Same trajectory since November 1980, when it flew past Saturn and headed for the stars. In 40,000 years, it will pass within 1.6 light years of another star. In a few million years, perhaps another civilization will find it. Perhaps they'll decode the golden record. Perhaps they'll wonder who we were. But right now, in November 2026, we'll mark something no other generation has witnessed. A human creation, one light day from home, still calling back. Still saying, I'm here, I'm still exploring. Question for you. You were there when we dreamed this big. When we built Voyager, when we launched it toward infinity. Did you ever imagine it would still be working 48 years later? Write your memory of that era in the comments. What did space exploration mean to you then? What does Voyager mean to you now? Thank you for watching, and remember, every signal Voyager sends is a reminder. We built something that outlasted everything we thought possible. Until next time.